The Mongolian deathworm is an intestine-like creature that apparently spits acid and electrocutes threats. But is it actually a worm? As it calls the Gobi Desert its home, and well, that's hot and dry, and not exactly worm territory. Or is it? Hello, I'm Megan from Cryptid Addicted, and today we're discussing whether the Mongolian death worm is actually a worm. Descriptions of the Mongolian death worm are very well wormy, but worms live in dry, moist, damp soil, not desert. So what can we conclude from this? Most likely, if it does exist, the Mongolian deathworm is probably some sort of reptile, a snake, a legless lizard, or a worm lizard. Some people even think it could be a relative of the Mexican mole lizard. Look at this guy. What's with the tiny hands? Another possibility is that it could be a Sicilian, a kind of legless serpentine amphibian. Look at these guys, adorable. He's a little smile. Surviving mostly underground, not too much is known about these unusual creatures. However, they are known to get around the same size as the Mongolian deathworm is claimed to get, and well, they look kinda wormy. However, these guys are also water permeable, just like worms, so they won't be able to live in dry deserts for an extended period of time. Overall, people think the Mongolian deathworm is probably some kind of reptile. Think spitting cobra. And definitely not a worm. But... They might be wrong. In 2013, a study came out that showed that there was two new species of worm found in the Gobi Desert. Now they weren't the Mongolian death worm. And unfortunately they weren't actually in the Gobi Desert. I've done some more research on this and they were actually found here. This is the Mongolian steppes or the Mongolian Manchurian grasslands. This means soil, grass, moisture, I mean, it's more of a worm environment, so it's not too much of a surprise to find two new worms there. But not all hope is lost for the Mongolian death worm, because these two new species can actually survive a whole range of wild temperatures, all the way from minus 30 degrees Celsius to plus 40 degrees Celsius. What? So what is my conclusion? If it is a worm, hold on, if it does exist, and it's a worm, it's definitely some sort of brand new subspecies, and that would be so exciting to find. It's no wonder that no one has found it if it is a worm. I would say it's probably smaller than people think. If I had to put money on it, I would say reptile. Think legless lizard or even a snake that spits venom, a la spitting cobra. There we have it guys. Is a Mongolian death worm a worm? Probably not. If you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing or leaving a comment. If you have any questions you want me to answer, Send them in. I love researching this crazy world of cryptozoology. Anyway, we'll see you next time and goodbye.